про ситуацію. Now we are going to listen to the briefing of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesman on NATO related issues. Colonel Alexander Matuzyanik about the situation in the ATO zone. Good afternoon, everyone. Now the information about the main events that happened yesterday in the ATO zone. Lugansk sector. Main military actions of the enemy was observed in Papasnyansky region, where the occupants opened fire at our position seven times. Once they used small arms, they shelled ADO positions before dawn. The rest of the shellings delivered by the enemy were during the second part of the day. One of them was mortar shelling. After 10 p.m., the enemy launched three mines at our positions near Nova Alexandrovka. And in Troitska, there was one firing of sniper delivered by the enemy after sunset. And uh, in other areas of Lugansk sector, it was calm, uh, except uh, in Krymska, where the enemy delivered uh, half-hour shelling with the use of um, APC weaponry. In the Donetsk sector, the militants were active in all key regions of confrontation. In Svetlodarsk Balch, in the region of Zaitseva, near the Donetsk airport, and in Avdiivka and its suburbs. And the most tense situation is in the region of Avdiivka, there the militants shelled the positions of Ukrainian forces during uh, 24 hours. And the enemy continued to use small arms, uh, sniper weapons, uh, grenade launchers of different systems, APCs, and also sporadically used mortars. And uh, yesterday the enemy launched about 20 mines at our positions uh, near Shakhta Butivka. And during the last 24 hours in the Donetsk sector, there were 18 enemy shelling, including three with the use of mortars recorded near Avdiivka. Mari Mariupol sector, the situation remains the same. The lion's share of ceasefire violations by the Russian occupation forces traditionally is in um, Pavlo Pilshirokin, a part of front line. Here, the enemy actively uses armored vehicles, open fire with the use of machine guns and grenade launchers throughout the day, and also periodically use mortars. In Gnutova and Vodine, the militants launched about 30 mines. In Marinsky region, the enemy was active only in the region of Marienka, and during the day, they opened fire with the use of small arms, and in the evening, the enemy carried out two short-term mortar shellings. And near Dokuchaevsk, yesterday it was calm. On the whole, in the Mariupol sector, there were 35 enemy shelling, including five with the use of mortars. And during the last 24 hours, as a result of the military actions, one Ukrainian serviceman was killed, two were wounded. These losses were sustained by armed forces of Ukraine in the region of Avdiivka in course of shellings. Our hearts go out to the relative of the servicemen who died for Ukraine. And uh, they continue the cohesion of the armed forces and uh, on the basis of the um, brigade of paratroopers of the armed forces, they had trainings for the heads of uh, uh, the uh, commanders of posts of military units, and uh, they uh, share the experience of working in the, these posts, and uh, also they consider the issues of uh, defense, safeguard, and protection of the command posts. And uh, in Lvivshina, in, uh, in the International Center of peacekeep uh, Peacekeeping, and the uh, security of National Academy of Land Forces named after Petro Sagay Dachny. Uh, they have uh, mm, pre-medical help training directly in the battlefield. <laughs>
the exercise are carried out under condition which is a maximum approach to the real combat conditions and the all pyrotechnic means um, and uh, equipment are used the uh, trainee among the trainees uh, there are many ATO participants and servicemen are trained in theory and uh, practice uh, evacuate uh, uh, wounded and injured from the combat area, um, uh, deliver pr uh, first aid and uh, uh, evacuate uh, the wounded to the yellow zone. Also, the servicemen from uh, uh, National Guards uh, uh, high educational institution participated in uh, a special military exercise in uh, shooting um, uh, uh, through the Novotroitsk checkpoint. Uh, 13 trucks uh, had uh, followed to the occupied territory. These uh, trucks uh, carry. Uh, construction materials and hygienic sets. This assistance amounting to 230 tons had arrived from the um, International Red Cross Organization. Yesterday, President Poroshenko uh, visited Lugansk Oblast and met with the servicemen who are ATO participants. The head of the state awarded participants of combat activities. Thus, Bogdan Khmelnytsky award was uh, uh, given to um, soldier Bublik uh, who has been uh, participating in combat activities from 2014, uh, uh, who participated in uh, counter attack near Avdiivka. Uh, the Order the banner for courage was given to uh, Yevgen Guzachov, who evacuated his uh, um, uh, fellow servicemen uh, from shelling those who were wounded in January 2017. Uh, in general, presidential decree number uh, 104 2017, dating from uh, April 17th, a uh, 157 servicemen, out of them 26 were awarded post-mortal and 66 were awarded uh, being injured. Olena Barishnyuk, uh, Fifth TV channel, we have got information that two servicemen were um, killed today because of uh, um, the mistreatment uh, with the uh, combat activities. Um, uh, mistreatment with the shells. Um, I would like to remind you that we inform you about casualties in result of combat activities. Uh, these are not uh, a combat uh, lo um, casualties. We will inform you separately.